our human history has been warped, skipped in some cases, and modified or concocted in most cases, as historians like. This is just one example. In the painting of St. Anne and Henry families, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, the lady on your left side, or as a matter of fact, this is not a lady, but a man on your left side is said to be Maria, and the lady on your right side is said to be St. Anne. But I have got a quite different idea about these two ladies. The man, I say, the man on your left side is Mona Lisa himself, and the lady on your right side is Maria herself. I show you its evidence a bit later in this video. By the way, do you know this fact? The name of Mona Lisa is an anagram of Mars and Ion, God of Eternity of Time. And it is also an anagram of Lamia's son or Maria's son. That is to say that the name of Mona Lisa is an anagram of Lamia's son or Maria's son as well. Then you can see number 51 in paintings, Mona Lisa and Saint Anne and Holy Families, both of which were painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Number 51 stands for Mars in Jewish Gematria. Then you can see a panoramic view of Mars in the background of Mona Lisa and Young Mona Lisa or Isleworth Mona Lisa. And in the background of St. Anne and Holy Families, you can also see a panoramic view of polar ice caps of Mars. I say it again. You can see a panoramic view of polar ice caps of Mars. Just have a comparison with each other and now you know Leonardo painted a panoramic view of Mars in his painting. You see this fact in this video and the most important thing for you is to see this fact and make your own decisions what they are. This is only one way to get out of the labyrinth of mysteries or you would get lost yourself in the labyrinth of concocted human history by historians. Back again, you see here, Maria in the painting of Saint Anne and Holy Families is Mona Lisa or son of Lamia and Saint Anne in the painting is Maria herself. Maria in Saint Anne and Holy Families is the same person as Mona Lisa. Please have a look at these two people and you will know that they are the same people in every part of each face. You be the judge to know this fact and please make sure of this fact by yourself because this is another part of very important part of this video.
And as I explained here before, the name of Mona Lisa is an anagram of Mars and Ion, the eternity god of time. That is to say that Mona Lisa is related with Mars. And that is why we can see a panoramic view of Mars in Mona Lisa, as well as Isleworth Mona Lisa, or another name of each is Young Mona Lisa. And here you see the name of Donatello, and I just understand Leonardo is a kind of anagram of Donatello. Both of them sound very same. Donatello was another great sculptor in the Renaissance as Michelangelo Veranuti and Donatello and Leonardo sound the same or I understand that these are also an anagram. Then I claim that the name of Leonardo da Vinci is an anagram of Andrea del Verrocchio. That is to say that the name of Leonardo da Vinci was concocted after the name of Andrea del Verrocchio, who was a master teacher of Leonardo da Vinci. Then, I, Hiroshi Hayashi, understand that the name of Mona Lisa is an anagram in three ways. One is Mars and Iron. Another one is Son of Lamia or Son of Maria. Maria is an anagram of Lamia or vice versa. Here I show you a panoramic view of Mars, panoramic view of Mars painted in the background of young Mona Lisa. I show you here on your left side a photograph shot by NASA on Mars and a panoramic view of Mars in young Mona Lisa. Please compare these two pictures with each other to know that the panoramic view of Mars in Young Mona Lisa is not a painting but a photograph itself. It is so accurate and precise. Then you may think why a painter named Leonardo da Vinci could do this. This may be your first step to get out of your labyrinth, but Leonardo da Vinci once wrote as follows. For once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skywards, for there you have been and there you will long to return. Though some people claim that there is no evidence that this quote is not the one of Leonardo's, it is not the point. You see a panoramic view of Mars in Young Mona Lisa and the view is exactly the same as a photograph which is sent from Mars by the spread rover of NASA. 
The painter could fly to Mars and see Mars by himself, wherever he was. I say that it does not matter whether he is Leonardo or not. He is God himself, or who else do you think he is? He was God who could paint such paintings about 500 years ago in the Renaissance. In conclusion of this video, I say that we humans may know a message from Jesus Christ after 1500 years in the Renaissance in which Jesus says that Someday in the future, we humans may reveal this fact and know this fact. Then we humans may know what Leonardo was and where Leonardo was from. And then also we humans may know who we humans are, what we humans are, and where we humans are from. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is a guidance video for you, and please do come to my website to watch my videos for further information. Please do come early and stay late with me to enjoy another version of human history. We know little about another version of human history, which is hidden behind our present History. Another version of human history is history with aliens whom you may call God. Thank you very much. Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamama City, Japan. Jesus Christ, who came down after 1500 years in the Renaissance. Today's story is a bit complicated, but the point of this video is that Jesus Christ himself came down onto this earth and he left his own self portrait. And I mean, all men here is one single God, Jesus Christ. Please have a look at Saint Jerome. The man in Leonard's painting of St. Jerome is God or Jesus Christ himself. One reason is that you see number 61 in the background of the painting. The painting is said to be one of the St. Jerome because there's a lion in front of him. But this is not correct. Number 61 stands for God in Jewish gematuria. Another reason is that this man has a stone in his right hand. Only God can have a stone and throw a stone to condemn other people. And the face of St. Jerome with beard is the self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci, which indicates that Leonardo da Vinci in his portrait is not a human Leonardo. The man on your right side has no beard nor moustache because he killed Abel and he was marked a man without beard nor moustache. Anyway, again I say that only God can have a stone and throw a stone to condemn other people. And the face of St. Jerome with beard is a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci which indicates that Leonardo da Vinci in his portrait is not a human Leonardo. An artist whose name was Leonardo was a concocted puppet artist between God and humans. Therefore I say that the artist whose name was human Leonardo did not even exist or Leonardo was a replacement of God or the God is Jesus Christ after 1500 years in the Renaissance. This story may seem to be a bit complicated to you, but remember that 
there was a man or human whose name was Leonardo da Vinci who worked Jesus Christ after 1500 years in the Renaissance. Then, to make matters simple, I say that this old man here shown is only one God, Jesus Christ, after 1500 years. Compare each face of them with other faces, and then you would know what I am saying here is correct. Anyway, here in this video, please make sure that Saint Jerome is Leonardo da Vinci himself. And Leonardo's face was created with a sort of 2D computer technology after a man who has no hair. The real Jesus has no hair because he is king, according to the painting by Michelangelo Brunotti in the Battle of Cascina, in which we can read numbers 775027, which means that. Christ is biblical king in Jewish gematoria. Anyway, the real Jesus has no hair because Jesus Christ is biblical king, biblical king who was punished and put a mark on his face. Cain killed Abel in the Old Testament. Beardless face is his mark, marked by God. Or you may say that Saint Jerome in the painting is Jesus Christ himself after 1500 years who came down onto this earth for us humans. Then you be the judge. I only show you the facts here and it is up to you how you make your own decision. The man on your right side is named Saint Jerome, but he is not Saint Jerome but God himself. Because, as, as I have shown you, he has got a number 61 in the background of this painting, and he has got a stone in his right hand. Okay, who can throw a stone to condemn people? Only Jesus or God can do it. So, this is God. Saint Jerome is God himself. And look at, have a look at this、uh, face of this man with a beard and mustache. Then you will know that this man is. Leonardo da Vinci, or the man in the portrait of Leonardo da Vinci himself. This is a very important part of this video, so please compare them with each other very carefully. And you see Leonardo da Vinci here, and both of them are exactly alike or the same in every part of his face. This is a very important part of this video, so make sure that the man on your left side is God, then the man on your right side is God as well. Both of them have a word in the same place and also a nictitating membrane in the same place as well. That means both of them are the same God. So I say that the The self portrait of、uh, Leonardo da Vinci was concocted on 2D computing technology. That is to say, that there did not even exist an artist named Leonardo da Vinci or human Leonardo da Vinci, which is a conclusion of this video. Thank you very much for watching. And come to my website early and stay late with me for further information, for which I thank you very much again. Hiroshi Hayashi, Hamamasiri, Japan.